So I just got done making a fake hornet's nest for a brand new portable scare zone display that I'm starting. It's going to be four or five components to this scare zone piece. And I'm going to do each prop individually from start to finish. And then we'll put it all together in one cool display afterwards. So the first thing I did today was make this fake hornet nest. So check out how I did it. And if you like seeing these little projects, don't forget to subscribe. So before we get started building this hornet's nest, I want to show just a few of the things that we're going to use. I'm going to need a drill. I'm going to need some chain, which I have here. And then I have this. This is, uh, this is used to cut fence or chain. I've got a couple different spade bits here. I'm not sure exactly which size I'm going to need precisely, so I got a couple of them. You're going to need some kind of tape. I'm using packing tape, but masking tape, duct tape, uh, painter's tape, whatever will work. Got some spray adhesive. I've got some plastic spray paint primer. And then a couple craft paints, acrylic paints, your choice, however, whatever colors you want your hornet nest to be. I'm going to use some Gorilla Glue. Uh, you can use any kind of glue though, because you're going to use the glue to seal this. Okay. I'm choosing to use an egg. I mean, there's a hundred different ways you could build a fake hornet's nest. You could use paper mache, you could do a cotton latex buildup, you could use an egg, you could use a piece of styrofoam, you could do it out of cardboard, you could use a beach ball, whatever. This is just what I'm choosing to use. I'm choosing to use an egg and I'm going to use the glue to seal the egg. I also am going to use a can of great stuff. Some three mil contractor bags. And I do think it's important to say you're going to want a heavier plastic like this, not one of the lighter plastics. And you'll see why I'm going to use some newspaper. This is a utility knife. I don't know if I'm going to end up needing it or not, but I got it there. Going to need at least one bolt and a washer larger than the hole that needs to be drilled for the chain. And I think that's it for now. A paintbrush later, but we'll get to that. So we're going to start with this and start making this hornet's nest. So we got our hole drilled and we've got our chain sticking through it. The other thing I did is I went ahead and put my bolt through a couple of the chain links along with the washer. And that is big enough so that the chain won't pop back out. Now I'm not going to put one on this side because I'm not worried about the chain going back in because the next step we're going to do is we're going to fill this with great stuff, both this half and this half. And that's going to do a couple things. It's going to make it just a slightly bit more solid and it's also going to prevent the chain from falling inside of the hornet's nest. The other thing I can I did and I don't think you'll be able to see it is I took a utility knife and I scored the inside of both halves of the egg just to help the great stuff stick a little bit better to the side of the egg. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get these things filled with the great stuff. So the egg has been great stuffed on the inside so now it's solid. Uh, it's not quite dry so the chain is slipping in a little bit so I've just temporarily stuck this bolt through there until this completely dries. It's fully expanded. It's just still a little bit tacky and soft, so that weight was sinking in it a little bit. But it, once it dries fully, and it will dry, even though this is closed off and glued, the two halves are now glued together too, it will dry. So the next thing I'm going to do is, it doesn't look like a hornet's nest, it just looks like an egg. So I'm going to start taking paper, and I'm going to build up the shape a little bit into the shape of a hornet's nest that I like. Now that I've got my nest built up slightly in a manner in which I'm happy, now I'm ready to start placing some plastic on there and melting it. This is what's going to really make this look like a hornet's nest. So I'm going to do this in layers. I'm going to build from the bottom of the nest to the top. This is obviously upside down, sit inside this little cup, but that way it'll look layered. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this spray adhesive. I'm going to spray the egg and then I'm going to put a top piece of plastic on it. 
I got my plastic on there and now I'm ready to take my heat gun and I'm just going to start not quite melting it yet but hitting it with the heat gun to tighten it up and shrink it and as I add layers of plastic on top of it those I'll start to melt to give a you know, a little bit more detail on this hornet nest. There we go we got all my plastic work done now I'm ready to start painting it. By no means do hornets make perfectly shaped nests, so you can pretty much do anything you want. I just didn't want it to look like the egg, and I don't think it does. And the other thing I really was going for is a layered look. And I wanted an entrance at the bottom. So, alright, let me get some paint on this real quick. To paint plastic, you're going to want to use a plastic primer for the initial coat. Trust me, don't just use regular spray paint. It'll flake off. Surprise, it's raining out, but that's all right. I can actually move this under my carport for the next step. So as you can see, I got it all primed with a light color. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some browns, doo -doo 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 -doo, some browns and water it down. And I'm gonna cover the whole thing and wipe it off. And that's gonna start the next layer of Hornet nest coloring. So I got the brown on there and wiped it all off. Now it's dry. I think the last thing I'm going to do is just paint that little entrance and I'm going to dry brush another brown over it lightly and then I'm going to hang it in a tree. The thing I've found with painting stuff is you can paint forever. You know what I mean? You can detail to your heart's content and just keep improving and having fun with it. But I'm actually going to call this done after one more one more bit of lighter brown. And there we go, done. It's as done as I'm gonna do anyway. It's a, maybe a little bit browner than I wanted, but not too bad. It's a real quick project. And like I said, this is going on a larger scare zone, portable scare zone Halloween display that I'm about to start. So I'm gonna do a few more props just like this for that display, but I'm gonna do the props, the individual props start to finish. And it's going to be three or four props total, three or four more props total, something like that. And then we'll put it all together in one cool, happy scare zone piece. Now I'm going to go hang this thing up in the front yard on a tree. I just took down a hornet's nest probably two, three weeks ago in the front yard that was about head level from where I was mowing. Um, I actually got stung pretty big, pretty bad on the butt taking it down too. So I'm going to hang this up in the tree and see if my wife notices it in the morning and thinks it's a real hornet's nest. Alright, thanks for watching. Take care.